Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we are jumping in for a little Eden run. I thought I'd just do a random Eden and I got something I thought was kind of interesting. Alabaster Box and Blood Puppy. I love Blood Puppy. He's one of my favourite familiars in the game. So I thought, why not build something around him? And then also, I just like the idea of a challenge of basically trying to keep Alabaster Box, uh, like fill up Alabaster Box and stay alive while also having Blood Puppy raging through the rooms and killing everything. I'm going to try and get him upgraded a little bit in this room here. There you go, because there is plenty for him to go at. Um, so why not let him have free reign of the little spidey whities and have a little munch on them and see if he can get some stuff done, because... We do quite like a Blood Puppy, and we do quite like him when he's max rank. Unfortunately, his charge ability does make him a little more annoying to do that with. A good thing is as well, I think he can actually drop Red Hearts at max level, so... No, I'm just going to have to kill this little fella. Oh, nope, he got him. He got him. Don't have to worry about Blood Puppy. He got him. He got him. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that was a single room where it was just me and him. I don't want it to be just me and him. That's awful. I love the way that he like latch onto an enemy and pull them with him as he dashes. There you go, look. He pooted out a little treat for us there. I think that's pretty kind of him. And um, we got Nightshade, which is a very good item as well here. When we kill enemies, we're going to gain um, little wisps and stuff. I think when he kills them, we'll also gain the wisps. Yes, we will. Okay, nice. And they'll protect us and also have a bit of herming shot on them. They do slowly fade away, um, so you don't keep them forever. And they do fade into the next room, but... For a little bit, we can keep him. Only thing about this guy is he can pretty easily kill himself on, like, if I throw out a bomb off there's explosions from bosses and stuff. And he'll, like, lower down his tier to the basic bitch tier. Also, as well, it seems like Nightshade is going to be a problem. Seems like he's going to be killing himself on Nightshade quite a lot. I'll take care of this guy. You take care of the ones over there. How about that? How about that? Um... Turns hearts, coins, bombs, pills, batteries, trinkets into their golden versions on touch and remove. 33% chance the uh, trinket will remain. Ooh, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Okay. Right. It's time, my boy. It's time. There you go. Look at him do it. Look at him do it. Oh, and he's big boy now. He is he has grown. He has grown to a big and strong size. So, realistically, I want to be dropping this trinket unless I get something really good because a golden heart ain't, ain't really worth it. I want to be getting a golden bomb out of it. I like the way he gets a dumpy. When he gets to this size, Chaboy gets a dumpy. So, go golden key we don't really care for. So, let's drop the trinket, grab the key. Don't think there's anything such thing as a golden card, so yeah, that's not a problem. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a good one. Golden Bomb. We did, in fact, lose it there. But a Golden Bomb for this floor is the sort of thing we want. Gives us access to stuff like this. Unfortunately, though, he will end up killing himself on these Golden Bombs at some point if we're not careful. Because he does like to just eat them up. Uh, Midas Bombs. Okay, interesting. Right. Plus 15... Um, and enemies in the explosion radius get the Midas Touch effect. If Isaac has no bombs, one can be placed that cost five. This bomb is not affected by any bomb-changing item. Right, so. That's kind of interesting. Dude, no, no! Why? Pourquoi? <laughs> Pourquoi? Why? Okay, so this this floor's big for us. We gotta manage to actually live, but we have golden bombs plus these money bombs, which could end up being pretty lucrative for us if we can play around it. Which right now our health is not really very uh, very good for. Good, good. Oh man. Taking some foolish damage right now. Foolish damage, I tell you. Foolish. This better be a bunch of hearts. It wasn't even a bunch of hearts. But it was soul hearts, which is filling up our alabaster box, which is kind of nice. Kind of forgot about the alabaster box, to be honest. 
Okay. Right. Not the best stuff here. I will pop this open and see if we get anything good. I'll buy the key as well, to be honest. Hey, you've got an extra key from buying out his shop as well. It's kind of nice. Okay, we're well, one soul heart off having this working for us, which is rather nice. Dude, how is that not... There you go. Goldify, my guy. Goldify. Oh my god. <laughs> that didn't work out at all. Ooh, we got another one of those pills back over there, don't we? Pretty sure it's the same pill. Ah, oh, it's turned into a goddamn water bottle. That's so frustrating that that happens sometimes. Okay, we've made quite a lot out of this floor, though. We've made the, we really have made the most of it. And we've got a crawl space as well. Lovely. Unfortunately, that's a crawl space to an item that I don't actually want. So. Dead weight can be a really annoying item, so I ain't taking it. Uh, excuse me, don't whip my bomb back. Kind of forgot he could do that, to be honest. Ah ha ha, you've turned into gold. No! <laughs> God damn it, dude. I just want to use my bomb to Midas touch you. Is that so hard? I'm kind of letting my, my little dude do most of the work here. I managed to get some money out of him at the end. But otherwise, that wasn't great. Um, I'm going to stick with the Angel because we've got the chance of getting a Alabaster Box payout. And I think it pays out better if you've not been to the Devil Deal, I think. I can't remember. Maybe. Maybe that's a thing. Right, remember we're not using bombs anymore here. We just want to get Blood Puppy raging up a storm. Let him uh, let him bite on some toes and that. Not this is, this is a good room for that, actually. We can we can weaken the spirit and then let him do the do the final bite. Munch on this fella. There you go. Quickly dip in here, why not? That's not a soul heart. That's a bag of shit. Get the other one. And him. I need you on this, my fella. I need you on this. Blood puppy, I do not have the damage to do this all on my own. I very much need you. 2.73 and 2.77 fire rate and damage respectively are not enough. Just ain't enough. Nightshade helps out a ton though. That is, that is something that I will say. Ah, uh, that was really stupid of me. I just kind of stood there and accepted that. I was looking at the goddamn carrot. I was too focused on the carrot because Blood Puppy won't leave the goddamn carrot alone. He's obsessed by it. Need you to take your focus away from that goddamn carrot, my guy. Also surprised he hasn't leveled up yet. He's eaten a lot. He's eaten good for a while. That, that definitely helps. Take that as well. Blood Puppy BFF, that is literally doubling his damage. He is going to be out here chomping and munching with the best of them. He's going to be better damage than we have. When purchasing an item from the shop, another one random shop item becomes free. Trinket is removed after triggering. Damn it, I just bought an item. But I suppose there wasn't another item to be free, so... It's okay. Just give us a soul heart, please. But yeah, honestly, Blood Puppy is going to be earning this entire... Uh, this entire run, because he has so much more damage than I do. He has been upgraded. He has ascended. He has become his chunkiest of selves. Unfortunately, when he gets the dash, he is a lot less bit, like accurate at chasing things, which is not ideal. But he'll 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 find his own way. He'll find his own way. Unfortunately, these enemies are uh, 
able to fly and go over rocks, which is making it a little bit harder for him to stay on track. What on earth is this? Is this a bomb of some kind? Ah, what? No, that's that's kind of terrible. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty it's pretty all right if we can manage to get rid of the alabaster box this floor, which I don't know if it's going to be plausible or not. We need to find another soul heart somewhere on this floor, which tinted rock is kind of the only way I see it happening. Secret room, it could happen. Secret room, it could happen. But I'm not gambling on that too heavily. I'm not going to rely on that too heavily at all. Why, why? You spawned in the middle of the room. Why would you go for me first? Take the easy ones. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. <laughs> he came in like a wrecking ball. At a million miles an hour and I was not ready. Stop going for me straight away. There's other things to eat, my guy. There's so many enemies for you to bite on. One day, little fella, one day, you will be my best friend. You know, that was good. That was good. This, this room, this room went exactly as I wanted it to. There's a little heart from him as well. Oh, what the dude? Come the fuck on. He spawned in the middle of all of these little dudes. And he went after me, are you kidding? Hey, there's our, uh, thingy though. Alabaster box. What we got going on here then? We got two actives, that's that's always nice. Um, what's this one? Removes all your red heart containers. If you have less than six soul hearts, gives you more soul hearts until you have six. Gives a negative damage multiplier and repeated use. Why would I want to use that? Multiple. Removes all your red heart container. That just seems bad. <laughs> and we got this as well, right. Which version of this do we want? Ah, yellow with the herming, yeah. Blue's pretty good, but I think yellow with the herming is the, the way to go. Changes our stats each time we take damage. That could be uh, pretty wacky. But yeah, annoyingly, I was going to take that fucking yum rib thing, whatever it was called. Can't take that either now because we got two active items. Why do we have to get two active items? Why? I want, I want, maybe I want to go blue here. Yeah, I think blue's better. Oh, he's he's mega chunked. He's, he's cheeked up. He is cheeked. Up. Okay, my boy. Come over here and decimate a family. Destroy this entire boss and everything it's ever known. Shatter its world, please. Oh my god, you caked up fiend. Try. Try your best to not immediately hit me as I walk in. Of course, this room's flipping awful for him. Why is there so many gaps? This didn't work out in the slightest. Okay. Cheeked up boy. Didn't really do what I wanted him to do here, but... Hey, her. I'm gonna let him continue thinking he's the best of the best. He's just... I, I kind of wish he still had the ability to do what he does in his, like, at level 1, where he just chases enemies rather than charging them. Because the charge ability is so inaccurate. It'd be nice if he didn't always charge. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I do there? That was terrible. I got myself locked in. This is not a good room for me and him to be sharing a small space. What... What's left? Oh, there's another enemy over here, I see. This has gone poorly. This doesn't represent me.
Stop trying to eat the big mushroom. Also, don't run into these bombs, please. I said don't run into the bombs. You goddamn big fool. One-up's kind of nice here. Mushroom tissue. Amnesia. Oh, this is good so far. Wow. That was probably three of the worst pills I could have gotten there. That was that was pretty abysmal. Honestly, I'm glad you're small now, my friend. You're doing a much better job. Brimstone bombs? Why not? Why the hell not? Right, remember, if we purchase something, the next thing we purchase is free. Uh, so I guess we... Oh, that's a, an active item. You bastard. Oh, and it just made this free. It's just a battery. I, th I thought it made an item free. Come on now. I just lost my angel chance as well. Lovely. God damn. This has been a rough run. This run has not gone the way that I wanted it to at all. Blood puppy be damned. He's the best lad. But god damn he is tragic. So to put it. We've been to the item room haven't we? I'm just going to leave. We got brimstone bombs from the item room I'm pretty sure. Right. Come on, Chonkoliath. Do some goddamn good for me. I need it. Oh, he fucking upgraded. I didn't realize he'd upgraded. How did you upgrade so fast? It took you so long last time. Is it based on damage dealt rather than kills gotten? I always thought it was amount of kills. Oh, I downgraded him again. Oh man, this is uh This is paining me. Truly, truly paining me. I just want an angel deal, please. Apparently I did miss an item room at some point, so maybe that last floor I didn't get the item room. Where the hell did I get brimstone bombs from then? I swear I got brimstone bombs from the item room, didn't I? Maybe I'm incorrect. Seems like I'm probably incorrect. Come on, fella. Get in there. Do your thing. I said get in there. Go. <gasps> oh, man, the targeting. Look, look at this. Look how close I am to the enemy and the aggro. And there you go. Finally, the aggro. That took... That took too long to coax him into attacking the enemy that was right in front of him. He must have really poor eyesight. At this point, am I even bothered about taking damage? Am I even bothered? Am I even bothered about losing my angel deal? I am not. Little Gish, little Gish, join the crew. Join the crew. There's a planetarium, baby. I'm talking about Mountain Dew, baby. I guess I'll take this. Right, we've gotta we've gotta keep ourselves together if we want that angel deal, but honestly, if our fat man Decides to cake up again, get his cheeks ripe and ready. I don't know if it can happen. Him clapping his cheeks on me is uh, inevitable and scary. I'm just worried that he's going to randomly upgrade while he's like sat next to me. And I'm not going to realize and he's going to just bite me. I need a soul heart, but unfortunately all of them went to the alabaster box and then the rest of them for the entire run of this... In the entirety of this run just decided, nope. Ain't no more. But I am liking the red version of this liar. This is good. Oh, dude, no. This guy's a tricky boss.
More so when he dies than anything. Once he dies, he gets a bit more tricky. Dude! Bastard. <sighs> Blech, I'm gonna throw up. I'm, this, this run's so gross. I just want an angel deal. Why can't I do me dirty like this? Give me a goddamn soul heart. Oh, my boy upgraded. Luckily, I just instantly downgraded him again. Was accidental, but still nice. Right, we're still making our way through. We're still making our way through. It's just been an absolute trial by fire right now. Nice. Bit of extra dosh. I like it. Here's our planetarium. This could be our saving grace here. This could give us Mars. Or maybe even Seoul. It was neither. 20% uh, chance uh, to shoot two additional snake shots, which are comprised of snake head tears and four tails. Snake tears, poison enemies have a 5% chance to spawn a fading. Red heart have a 40% uh, damage. All snake tears have a wiggle worm effect. Mm. Sounds pretty interesting. Wait, hold up. Is it really good with this? Yeah, okay, it is. I was having a feeling it would be. I'll try it with the yellow version of the lie then. Just because it's got more proc chance. I like the idea of more proc chance. Okay, unfortunately they do shout out angles and don't have the herming that the rest of my tiers inherent. Oh, come on you. It's a bit, a bit saucy that was. But it is nice firing out such a large amount of them. Right. <gasps> is that a half soul heart? Oh my god, what the hell? I don't know, I think the red one's actually working just as well, you know. I'll stick with red still. Right, let me just find the boss. I've got the Emperor cards, so I could just teleport there, but I think that's a waste. I want to save that for the womb. I want to save that for the womb. That's a soul heart back there as well, I saw. An angel deal might finally be possible. What? What? Where's the soul heart? Oh, it's on the map. It's in this room. I, I saw the mini map and I got excited. But I think I can do this. Yeah, boy. That's a skill that in Isaac that is like needed. There's so many rooms where that comes in handy. By the way, where, why, how come my coming down mod isn't working? Do I not have that enabled right now? Maybe I don't. Let me go. Let me quickly check on that. How long has that been disabled for? Coming down. Yeah, I don't have coming down on at the moment for some reason. Can I remember which goddamn one it is? Wait, when did this one come out? So th this one came out last updated 2022. This one last updated. That's also 2022. Oh my god, this is so confusing. 16th December 2022, and this one was 27th October 2022. Okay, so this one's the better one then. Right, I've got coming down enabled for next time now. Yeah, I just, I, I, I turned it off for whatever reason. I can't remember what it was now. Um, I think I was recording something else and never turned it back on. So it's back now at least. Right, my goodness. Is there anything we want to steal from here? Nope. Yeah, although number two could be pretty good, but I think I'm just going to skip and keep my Ember card in my pocket so I can skip this first Womb Floor. I think skipping the Womb Floor... Oh, it's this fella. You think it's one boss, but it's not. It's the Blurt. 
Oh, really? That was in line for be perfect and then just messed it up. Oh, could this brimstone hit for a minute? There you go. So this, it's the snake shots. I'm wondering, like, why is this getting pushed around so much? The snake shots are, like, knocking it way off course. <gasps> is this an angel deal? Could it be? Oh, look. Watch how bad this is going to be. Eh. Not terrible. Not what I'm looking for, but it's not terrible. And we're finally looking good on the soul heart from... That angel deal health-wise was pretty important. But item-wise, Glyph of Balance, it's only really good if you play into it, and I'm not going to play into it. I'm going to be honest, I'm not. Unfortunately, my big, big blood friend isn't really doing a whole hell of a lot right now, which is a bit of a shame. He's just kind of happy-go-lucky. Bimbling along, living life to the fullest, apparently. He, he doesn't care about much else. A hug. <sighs> they give you a soul heart, you just like... You feel so blessed, but it so rarely happens. Oh, there you go, he's caked up again. Well, not quite, but he's, uh, he's evolved. Ah, oh, that was so stupid. I didn't realize there was a red poop underneath there. Not see that red poop coming. Eh. Back off you. Okay, this is an annoying... An annoying room. You pop your head out. Fuck. Poison got him eventually. Right, you big oof. Attack the heart, please. No one else, just the heart. Right, last phase incoming. Lost all the HP here, but we're still alive. Honestly, this guy being around during this phase is uh, not filling me full of confidence. Yeah, he hit me twice there. <laughs> Or got me hit twice, at least. Right. Be chill, Blood Puppy. Be chill. Thank you. My goodness. Fella needs to be quelled. He needs to be calmed. Oh, God. I've never heard the noise these things make before. That's uh, that's quite a squelchy, squelchy sound. A lot more squelchy than I'd like it to be. Okay, this is just plow through now. Hope for the best. This has been a bit of a bit of a tragic run. I mean, it's it's getting there. It's making it. I feel like that's probably one of the in terms of like how good I am as an Isaac player, I'd say one of my better skills is ooh, turn that. One of my better skills is being able to make a uh, a, a kind of bad run good and this isn't by any means a bad run like it's just a run that that kind of has some missed opportunities and wasted potential like this is still a run that i think a lot of people could win there's a lot of good items in here uh, but i also think that a lot of people would have lost on this run a lot earlier um i feel like the the sort of ability to scrape through on runs that aren't going well or like change the tide in a run that doesn't look like it's gonna go the distance. I think those are, like, where my skill shows in terms of how long I've played this game for. What's going on here? I guess I do need some keys. And then this for a room that's just full of, full of fools. If a room is full of fools, we get that out. Boss room, where are you? Not here. Probably this way. These snake shots seem pretty good, by the way. Seems to be doing pretty well. They're a bit hard to hit, obviously, but seem pretty good overall. Wow, this is a long way to the boss. I'm probably going to run into the mini boss at some point, aren't I? 
I can feel it. I can feel the mini-boss lingering over me. Oh, nope, I managed to dodge it, lovely. Okie dokie. Good old boss time. Now the boss fights, you can see are where I really start to let things slide. I, I'm not patient enough. I think one of the downsides of having a lot of hours and doing YouTube videos on games like roguelikes like Enter the Gungeon and Isaac is you get really good at the games, but that makes you quite complacent. Like you get you get sort of bored. Uh, uh, but I won't say exactly bored, but you can't kind of sick of waiting in certain situations. So you rush them because you're a good player, but that makes you make a lot more silly mistakes because you're rushing too much to try and get things finished quicker. And I do it a lot with boss fights. I get really sick of immunity phases and like certain attacks that I can't like deal damage during. So I just like rush to get as much damage as I can out as fast as I can. And I take too, way too much damage in, in the course of action from that. It's really stupid to be honest, but I do it all the time. It's especially apparent as like a YouTuber doing videos. It's not as bad if you're just a person that plays the game a lot. Will Eden's Blessing actually work for the next run? I wonder. I heckin' wonder. I might do a Tainted Lost video next. I'm, I'm feeling a Tainted Lost video. I did try to record one a couple of weeks back, but I got, like, an insanely good run. I had, like, 46 damage by the second floor. It was absolutely amazing. And then I died, and it made me really upset, so I just scrapped the video completely. <laughs> um... But I might, I might do another Tainted Lost run after this, because it's been a little while. And I, I do enjoy it, especially if um, if Eden's Blessing does end up working. Then we can just roll straight into the run from e with Eden's Blessing, which could give us something pretty awesome. Hope it gives us something cool. Just Sacred Heart. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy, Sacred Heart. Oh god. Our boy's all grown up. This room's... This room's a mess. <laughs> There's health bars all over the goddamn shop. You pew out, poo out a little uh, heart there for us, did you? I mean, thank you. That's actually kind of nice, but uh, you're still going to end up hurting me for more than you end up healing me, I think, overall. I don't really want to thank you too heavily. There you go. Oh, he's, he's mega. He's mega evolved. Can you take out the boss for us? This is the question that we need to know. Oh, ho, ho. into your grasp. Into your open maw. A red heart there. Ah! Okay. He's doing it. No, don't eat the bomb! Why, whenever I put a bomb down, do you fucking lap that shit up every time? Leave my bombs alone. I just wanted to speed up the fight a little bit. But you have to have the tasty, tasty bomb, don't you? Really, that's going to go off the moment he disappears. That was annoying. Now I don't have any goddamn bombs left. What a cool rework to this boss. He's so much better now. Ah, let me out. There's a mini boss in there somewhere, apparently. A heart, lovely.
Grab that, why not? Extra bomb. Rather nice, did not see those fires there. That's all those Ace of Hearts I haven't used. I haven't really found the right time yet. Maybe I'll just use it in the actual Blue Baby fight when he, on, when he spawns some flies and stuff just to have a few hearts dotted around the fight. It's a bit of a boring use case, but it is a good one. You shouldn't be too bad. He is firing a lot of shots, though. Those silver shots that he's firing out. <gasps> Every time we take damage, we get a heart in return. It's, it's kind of nice. Oh, hello. Didn't expect to see a foot. A lot of bombs for the fight. I like that, too. We know that uh, Blood Puppy is going to go after those. Good. A chest, perhaps? We do have three luck. There's a chance we get one. Nope, just more hearts. Lots of top hat imagery going on right now. What's happening here? He's hiding behind all the rocks. I kind of like that. That's a cool move. I don't think I've seen him do that before. Right, we got him. Now just this fella to worry about. Ooh, now that's probably a little bit better for us, right? What a wild room this is. Got it in the end, right. We've got to be near the boss now. This is this is getting ridiculous. Oh, dude, you can't even destroy those. That's kind of interesting. Protects those little things in the floor there. I just about to say, what's what's the chance of a heart? I think I think we're getting all the heart drops though, because of um, because of glyph of balance. I think that's why we keep getting hearts every time we lose one, which I didn't think of before. Of course, it gives us a chest now. But I didn't think of before, but it makes a lot of sense now, which is saving our bacon quite a bit. <gasps> Ooh, extra bombs, please. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of extra bombs. Lovely stuff. Right. It's go time. Bluest of babies. Prepare to be riggedy wrecked. I'm surprised the Midas Touch effect doesn't completely freeze this guy. There's done. Taken care of. Pop that. Three extra hearts back. Last phase coming up any second. A few more bombs for the ride. Did a pretty good job. Okay, I think we're in the... In the clear here, most likely. Even if we take a bunch of damage. Right, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a, a very fun run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.